hello guys so this is a fifth lecture of LT initial attach procedure and till now we are done with uh, random access procedure where we receive the resources to talk to e node b in uplink direction so the first like first message that UE will send is rrc connection request and uh, there will be some more message using them you will establish rrc link with e node b but before uh, going in this discussion or this RRC connection establishment, uh, we will study about LT channels because we need uh, because we need understanding of LT channels uh, for upcoming lectures. So let's start with LT channels. That is LT non-link channels. The first channel that comes in picture is BCCH channel that is broadcast channel broadcast control channel you can say and it is mapped to BCH channel and this is further mapped to PBCH channel this broadcast control channel is also mapped in DLSCH channel that is downlink shared channel and this DLCH is mapped to PD SCH channel. This is broadcast control channel. Okay, so um, this these are downlink channels which are um, uh, their mapping I have shown here, and this portion is used to broadcast master information block. Whereas this information is used to broadcast some information block. Okay, MIP and SIP I have already explained in another lecture. So you can refer that lecture. And uh, also this BCCH is known as logical channel and this this DLSH and BCCH are known as transport channel and this PBCH and PDS PDSCH are known as physical channel remember all physical channels in uh, LT starts with letter P okay so <clears throat> these logical channels are exist between mac layer and your uh, sorry guys uh, this logical channel uh, is lie between uh, your rlc layer and your and your mac layer and this transport layer is transport layer lies between file layer and mac layer and below file layer physical channels will be there Okay, so this is a one group of channels. Uh, let's see another group. So another group is CCCH that is common control channel and DCCH that is dedicated uh, control channel and your DTCH all are mapped to a common channel which is known as DLSCH channel these are downlink channels so I'm making downlink arrows and this DLSCH is mapped to PD SCH channel okay so here um, these CCH, CCCH, DCCH and DC, DTCH are your logical channel this DLSCH is already we know that this is our transport channel and this PDSCH is physical channel 
okay so uh, let me give you a brief introduction of these channel if you uh, if our UE is if we are using this combination this mapping that is CCCH DLSCH and PDSCH in downlink so uh, common control channel is used to send control data that is signaling part uh, in node B uses this this mapping or these channels in downlink directions to send control data to UE and this DD, DCCH if uh, if we are using this combination then this is dedicated control channel means this combination will be dedicated to a particular UE okay and if uh, if e node b wants to send some data to ue then the combination that will be used will be dtch dlsch pdsch and uh, dtch dlsch and pdsch so this will be a mapping of downlink channels okay means these these two are for sending control signal only difference is that this channel will carry data towards dedicated UE and this DTCH channel is used to send some user plane means data means uh, real time traffic kind of data okay so <clears throat> there is another set of channels uh, which is right here ECCH that is paging control channel PCH paging channel and PDSCH okay so this is uh, used in downlink direction to send paging uh, information to our UE okay one thing is common here you can see means every time this PDSCH is coming in picture and physical layer okay means PDSCH is carrying in uh, SIB also PDSCH is carrying control part also okay PDSCH is carrying traffic also means real traffic and PDSCH is carrying paging also so a channel is there which is known as PDCCH physical downlink control channel okay uh, this channel carries some information which tells UE what kind of data is presenting PDSH okay means UE has to decode this PDCCH means at, uh, means at first at means if UE is interacting with network UE has to decode PDCCH this is the first thing that UE will do after decoding PDCCH UE will come to know what kind of data this PDSCH is carrying for uh, me okay and apart and one more thing about this PDCCH is that PDCCH is not mapped to any other channel okay there are some signals also one is PSS that is primary synchronization signal SSS secondary synchronization signal and RS that is reference signal these signals are also not mapped to any other channels or signals this we have already seen uh, during synchronization during downlink synchronization this PSS and SSS that you will decode them to calculate PCI you can refer my lecture of cell search to make the understanding of PSS and SSS and reference signal I have also explained but uh, reference signal is used to means UE will uh, calculate the signal strength you can say RSRP or SRQ on the basis of reference signal and there are few more channels which are not mapped to any other channel which is known as PC FICH that is uh, physical control format indicator channel and PHICH and this is P physical HARQ indicator channel uh, PC FIH will tell you how many uh, how many OFDM symbols are occupied by PDCCH in our subframe and PHICH uh, 
in downlink direction e node b sends acknowledgement of hrq on these channels so now i am going to tell you uh, about location of these downlink channels in ld radio frame so this is uh, radio frame structure of ld this is a system frame number 0 this is system frame number 1 so let's talk about pss and sss first actually it repeats in every 5 millisecond it presents in 0th 0th uh, subframe and 5th subframe okay so we have stretched this 5th subframe so on 5th subframe and at 5th and 6th sub uh, OVDM symbol these SSS and PSSS are present and in this this these four that is seven old symbol number seven eight nine and ten here your pbch is present uh, sorry uh, yeah pbch is present which carries your mib and uh, this MIB is, we know the MIB, it presents, sorry, uh, this MIB will not present here because location will remain same, but MIBs are always present at 0th frame, okay, at same location that is 7, 8, 9, 10, the MIB or PBCH is present. The main thing that I would like to tell here about PDCCH and PDSCH okay so PDCCH uh, the number of OFDM symbols reserved for PDCCH can vary it depends on uh, PC which so uh, PDCCH can be present at 0th OFDM symbol only and at 1th OFDM symbol on also and at 2nd OFDM symbol also so uh, and at 0th OFDM symbol one PC fit channel is also present it tells how many uh, symbols uh, are reserved for PDCCH this is CFI there is a CFI value uh, in operator if this value is 1 then only one OFDM symbol, symbol is reserved for PDCCH if it is 2 then two symbols will be reserved for PDCCH and if it is three, the three OVDM symbols will be reserved by reserved for PDCCH. So when UE receive this frame, it decodes the PDCCH first of all. Okay. And after PDCCH means PDCCH tells UE uh, what uh, means the kind of traffic is present in this of the frame. Why? Because in other slots that is these these slots these are occupied by your PD SCH and as we know PD SCH can carry paging data it can carry control data it can carry system informations also and it can also carry real-time traffic that is browsing or some kind of call okay so after decoding PDCCH you will come to know what kind of traffic this PDSCH, PDSCH is carrying okay so uh, suppose you are having some issue of throughput in your network so what you one thing that what you can do you can decrease the size of PDCCH suppose earlier it is and suppose three OFDM symbols are occupied by PDCCH then your throughput will be low if you re reduce this PDCCH suppose it you if you make it only one then the OFDM symbols reserved for PDSCH will be increased and your throughput will be increased okay okay so this is all for uh, LT downlink channels uh, in next lecture I will tell you about LT uplink channels and then we will uh, go through this RRC connection establishment. 
थैंक यू